Karen L. from Karen L. Beauty. Today I'm going to show you how to get that even and perfect complexion. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And without further ado, let's move on to the tutorial. First, I'm going to start with primer. I'm going to use the NYX Angel Veil Primer. Primer, what it does is it gives your face a clean, smooth, and even surface for the foundation to adhere on. And with this particular primer, it fills your pores. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to squeeze a little bit on the back of my hand and spread this throughout my face. Now that I'm happy that all the primer has been spread all over my face, I'm going to move forward with my foundation. Today I'm going to use the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation in the shade 7.75. I really like this foundation because it's full coverage. Using full coverage foundation eliminates my need for having to color correct any of my dark spots and hyperpigmentation. So I'm going to take my foundation and put two squirts on my palette and I'm going to take a wet beauty blender and apply this all over my face. By using a wet beauty blender, it doesn't suck up all the foundation and in my opinion, I use less product. Now that I have foundation all over my face, I'm gonna move on to applying concealer under my eyes. I like to apply a concealer in a triangle formation and I also like to apply concealer on my eyelids. By applying the concealer on my eyelids, I don't have to use an additional eyeshadow primer. So in the set essence, the concealer works as my eyeshadow primer. So I'm just gonna fan out the concealer just to do make that triangle. And I'm gonna take that same damp beauty blender using the pointed end. I'm gonna just get right into the corner of my eye and lightly pat that concealer out. I'm going to use a large end of the Beauty Blender to blend the edges with any residual foundation that may still be on the sponge. And now that I've finished this eye, I'm going to go ahead and complete the second eye. So now that I've completed my eyes off camera, we can continue on with our complexion. I'm going to start by applying bronzer. Today I'm going to use MAC Cosmetics Bronzer in the color Bronze. I'm also gonna use this brush from Morphe. It's the R7 brush from Morphe. And what I really love about this brush is that it really gives me a nice diffused effect with my bronzer. So I'm gonna dip my brush into my bronzer and I'm gonna apply my bronzer to my face. And what I like to do is I like to apply this in a number three motion. So starting up at the top of my forehead, moving down along my cheekbone, down along my jawline. This brush is really amazing at giving me a nice diffused effect. I'm going to move on and do the same thing on the second side. Now that my bronzer is complete, I'm gonna go ahead and slim down my nose or do a nose contour. I'm gonna use the Tarte Clay Plate Palette to achieve this. Taking a medium angled shading brush, I'm just gonna dip this brush into the color Journey. And I'm gonna run it along the bridge of my nose. I'm just gonna keep the line straight as possible. Sometimes hard for me to do. I end up with a crooked line and a crooked nose. And this is going to help slim my, the bridge of my nose. I'm going to take some of that same color and just run it along underneath the tip of my nose. It'll keep the attention away from this tip and help give me that button nose effect. Taking the same brush, I'm just going to lightly dip into stone and terracotta and I'm just going to draw a very faint line up here to just add a little button. 
Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna blend all of that in using the same brush. Now that my nose contour is in a good place, I'm just gonna add some highlight to some key points that will help achieve the button nose effect. I'm gonna use the Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighter in the color Molten Rose Gold. You can use any highlighter that you're using today. Um, I'm just going for a rose gold look, so this is the one I'm gonna use today. But I'm gonna dip my finger just lightly into it. I'm gonna just add a little dot right at the tip of my nose and then a little bit of that highlighter along the bridge and just lightly blend it in, giving a nice button nose effect. Since I have the highlighter out, I'm gonna move on and add highlighter to my face. I'm gonna use this Morphe brush, the M510. I'm going to dip it into my highlighter, tap off any excess, and I'm gonna apply it just around my eye, kind of forming the letter C. I really, really like a lot of highlight. I don't think that there's ever too much highlight. So I like to just overdo the do a little, because I just like this strobe. I'm just gonna take some and apply it above my eyebrow as well. And I'm gonna do the same to the other side. I'm gonna take some of that highlight, apply it to my cupid's bow, a little to my chin, and just a little bit, just tapping my forehead. Again, just I'm just trying to add highlight to any key areas where I think the sun might naturally hit me. Now that I've done my highlights, I'm gonna complete my look with blush. I'm gonna use the BH Cosmetics Professional Blush Palette. I'm also gonna use the Morphe Y3 brush to apply my blush. This is a really, really vibrant palette, and unfortunately there's no color names on the back of this, so I can't really tell you what I'm gonna dip into. I'm gonna dip my brush into the blush. I'm going for a rose gold effect. So I'm going to kind of mix some colors. So I'm gonna tap in here, tap in here, tap some excess off, and I'm gonna try and apply my blush in between where the bronzer and the highlight is. And I don't wanna take the blush down too far. I just wanna leave it up here just to give a little flush because my face is round and I just don't want to draw more attention to the fact that it's round. So I'm gonna angle that blush down and not take it too far just to give a little flushed look. I did my lipstick and added earrings off camera, and now I'm ready for my next adventure. I hope that you really enjoyed this complexion video. Let me know how it worked out for you, and if you have any questions or you want to see something specific, let me know in the comments section below. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, and until next time, bye!